I'm Janae, and this is Jason. We've embarked on the adventure of a lifetime. We're two ocean-loving Aussies, travelling the world by sailboat and making movies along the way. Tune in every week for new episodes. Enjoy, and don't forget to subscribe. I think it's time for us to move on. Today we are going to go into the marina, which is just there, get some petrol. In Turkey, you have to get rid of your waste, so we've got to do that. Um, you can do it at the petrol station. I think you've just got to VHF in and let them know what, what it's all about and what you're doing. Um, and then I think we're going to head further south. So somewhere along there, not 100%, but let's get to it. Calling station, calling station, steamwaiting, did it? Yes, hello. This is sailing vessel Escapade. Are we able to enter D Marin Marina to fill up our diesel tank and to get rid of our waste? Yes, so. Petrol station is available. You can come inside and you can board the petrol station. Over. Great. Thank you. We'll be there in five minutes. So we're just leaving our first anchorage that we came into into Turkey. We've been here for quite a few nights now, four or five nights. Um, just wanted to settle in, get ourselves sorted. We haven't really been able to stop since we've been in Greece. So it was nice just to have a few days to go on to land and relax a little bit and get a few things sorted, like all of our washing that we had to take to the laundry and checking in and all of that stuff. So we're just heading in to get diesel for the first time <laughs> at an actual petrol station with the boat since we left Greece. So our first day of sailing. Um, and here you also have to get rid of your waste. Uh, they have to pump it out. So they do that there as well. So we're gonna get that done. And then we'll be all nice and ready to go. And we're off to a little bay, not too far away today. After one night away, we were back in Dinham again. We thought we had a few days spare before we had to pick up some RAM for our laptop, but the next day we got a call to say it had arrived. Janae and I are going for our afternoon delight. I should have worn my runners and we could have done a, an actual walk. I'm three beers deep. There's no way I'm going for a run. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go to the fishing store and just have a look around town. three of these out today they stink too yeah they do stink they have flying fish here everywhere we're just in the tender and you can see them all jumping up out of the water there's probably more in here somewhere but it is a glorious afternoon absolutely stunning she goes it right very glassy calm water like a lake and a nice sunset with some cool clouds and we went shopping today Yes. We got some fins. Jason got some fins. None of this is mine, this is yours. And then we got a spear gun. Just a beginner one, because I'm... He's going to be learning. Never done it before. Never done it, no. And some weights. A weight belt, some weights, a knife. Show and... everyone, get it out. And what else? And gloves and that. Gloves, and gloves socks, socks weight got... belts, knife. 
we got a really good deal. Like this, everything here, like literally everything was like three hundred, just under three hundred dollars, Aussie dollars. It's a Turkish brand called Apnea. Um, so we don't know if it's any good. Supposedly it's quite decent though, compared to the other brand that they had there. So, oh, little um, ankle weights as well. Wait yeah, out. <laughs> Big boy, <laughs> big boy Jason. Big boy Jason. <laughs> Ooh, ah. yeah, At least we got the weight belt. So when we do invest later down the track in some scuba, scuba gear, because we're both certified divers, he's already got that. So that's good. And, and the little ankle weights and the fins. We should have I mean, a look we, how much scuba gear is here. It might be shaped. We had fins already, but he's got some long ones now. So. And the gloves will be good, even, and the socks for scuba diving, keep you a little bit warmer as well. Yeah. Yeah, and you got a net, so we can actually catch some fish now with his rod. Yeah. It's the only thing we're missing. Yeah. Because I have caught a few fish. Fillet knife and maybe like a big plastic board that you can fillet them outside. Yeah. That you can rinse off. Hmm. I don't know what we're going to do. I don't really want him <laughs> filleting fish on our kitchen cutting boards. Yeah. I think most people have like a, can like make a thing that swings out off the boat a little bit. Oh yeah. Like a custom thing. It's gone again. We're probably going to have five more in the tender tomorrow morning. We are going to head to Bodrum today. We've got a a little bit of wind behind us, not much, about eight knots, but we're in no rush to get there at all. So we're just gonna cruise. Yeah, so let's get set up, let's go. We're going to get the cruising shoot up today for the first time. Jason's just figuring out how to set it up so we don't do any damage. But we're sailing downwind and we've only got about two and a half knots, so perfect conditions. So yeah, we'll show you once it's up, looking all pretty. Jason's just on the phone with the previous owners of the boat. They bought the boat back in 2002 and uh, were the only owners, so I've been sailing for a very long time and I've been super, super helpful with any questions we have and helping us out. After all that, we didn't end up getting the cruising shoot up as the wind completely died off. This is how calm it is. We're actually moving and the flags are not moving. We're only moving very slowly, but there's just no wind. Dead, like a lake out here. Woohoo! What well, feels like it was coming into winter already, us being from the Gold Coast where even winter it's like 21 degrees every day. We have a nice warm day and I don't know if it's because there's no wind but back in my swimmers and my shorts, no Ugg boots on, feels amazing. So excited, I hope it stays like this for a few more weeks. Wishful thinking. sail, I think it's time to go visit the island. It's not an island. Oh, it's not. <laughs> We're going to go visit 
Bud rum. Bud rum. Um, I hope you can start. Me too. You better, better hurry up and try. You hold Quick, this. I'm about to let go. Can you hold this? We'll start. Sure we will. It doesn't have a collar on. This one's coming over. Look. Hey, you, your friend. Hi. Oh, hey. hey, no. You want a pet too? You want some attention? <laughs> yeah. Hey. <laughs> look at this leg guy. Do you like that? Hey. Janae is in heaven right now. Mm. In cat heaven. Oh, he likes it. Hi, he's at comfy now. We're just leaving our first anchorage in Bodrum. On the north side of Bodrum and we're heading into Bodrum itself, the main town. It's Republic Day today, Turkish Republic Day. So they'll be having celebrations everywhere. So we're going to head in and check it out, go for dinner somewhere and see where it takes us. Sit on, babe. <laughs> Beautiful. Love the face. We're going to explore the town of Didham. We got this little one with us for the day. I'll oh, see ya. We're in the streets of Bodrum. Are we? Yeah, I think it's called the Bazaar, this area. Ah. And we're just going to go and have a little walk and is at the castle to see what it's about. That we've been looking at but, from the boat for days. But first we're going to go to this pub and have no, a beer. We're not. No, we're not. <laughs> okay. But first we're going to go shopping for clothes for Janae. No, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.
Bodrum Castle is a historical fort built from 1402 onwards. It has four towers known as the English, French, German and Italian Towers. In the early 1960s, the castle became the home for the award-winning Bodrum Museum of Underwater Archaeology. Streets are actually really nice. Really, really nice. Hmm. There's a lot of carpet places here. Yeah, we're just making it. Yeah. I'm not sure if these boats are, boats are old or new, but they're all immaculate. They look old. Can you hear the prayers? <laughs> Insane, these will be worth a fortune. These boats are called gulets. The towns of Bodrum and Mamaris are best known for the production of these beautiful boats. The original purpose of the goulet was for fishermen and sponge divers to transport their catch, as well as for traders to move goods from marina to marina. The construction of the goulets picked up significantly again in the 1970s, when a spike in tourism resulted in more demand for sailing in Turkey than ever before. Since then, goulets have become an iconic symbol for Turkish-related tourism, with thousands sailing the Med and Aegean seas in goulets every year. We've got a Wabasso on board, but it doesn't actually work. Um, it seems like everything works properly, just no hot air comes out. So we're just going to have a look at that today. We're going to take it apart and yeah, see if we can see what the problem is. This is what happens when something gets fixed on the boat. <laughs> the whole boat literally gets turned upside down to find things, move things out of the way to get to things. So yeah, it's... I hope Jason's gonna clean this up because I really don't want to. Yeah, you are. You made the mess. Nope. I cleaned my cooking mess, nope. which is much neater than yours. It's not that messy and I'm halfway to washing up. I'm just waiting for the hot water to heat up. What's happening? Um, I got it started, got the heater going, um, but I think it's the fan. The fan's just cooked. So that's the part that we might need. I think so. And it's the most expensive part. Woohoo! But unfortunately, we're doing winter somewhere that does get quite cold. So apparently, most people think we definitely need the heater. I think it kind of gets to the equivalent of like Melbourne, Tasmania kind of thing in Australia. So it's pretty cold and especially when you're out on the water. So we got it basically working last night, um, but this yellow cord here, when this fan was turning, it was rubbing against the fan and it kind of chafed the wire a bit, which caused a fault nine. So I've just re-soldered the wire and put a bit of, um, what's it called? Heat shrink over the top. So hopefully this solves the problem. We should have a working Webasto, fingers crossed. I'm not confident on it though, for some reason. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just putting it all back together now and we will test it out. Jason just got very excited because the fan started blowing for the first time and he's been working on this since three o'clock yesterday and it's now 3.30 today. I don't know how, why it's turned on. Maybe just undoing it all and re-putting it back together helped. But yeah, we got the fan on, which is our biggest accomplishment yet for this machine. No. I, I don't want you to turn it off in case it doesn't turn back on. Oh, <laughs> we have to be able to turn it off. Should I try it on heat now? Nah, keep it on this. I'm just gonna keep it running for a while. 10 minutes. Okay. It sounds smooth, so. Okay. One thing I will say is you've got so much patience. <laughs> Seriously, Jason's been working on the Wabasso from like three o'clock yesterday afternoon till like 10 o'clock at night. And then literally from like the minute he got up this morning till what is it now, like 
5.40 in the afternoon. I've got the patience of like a seagull wanting a chip on the beach. Jeez. Janae and I have had a super productive morning this morning. We have smashed out some editing. We have made a coffee, which is the main thing. You've made three coffees. <laughs> <laughs> um, we've filled, filled up all our tanks. We have had a shower for the first time in three days. <laughs> I had a shower yesterday. Uh, what else have we done? Filled up all the water bottles. Filled up all the water bottles. Done some uh, making beds and seeing what we have. Yeah, we got some friends coming on board in a couple of weeks so we're just getting everything ready for that all that's left to do is take out the rubbish this was all a mess because i've been fiddling around with that wabasto that i can't get to work i've got it i've got it to a point where it turns on and it heats up but then um it's coming up with an error code so i think the fans just shut itself but yeah time to take that and we're off to our next destination which is black island Excited? Woo! I hope it's gonna be warm enough to actually go for a swim, fingers crossed. Yeah, it's a bit windy. And the wind's actually heading the direction we want to go, which sucks, but is what it is. Coming from the direction we want to go. Yeah. Anyway, let's get to it. Join us next week where we head to the beautiful Black Island.